More than 3,200 of our MLGW customers remain in the dark tonight as crews continue to work round the clock. Thank you for joining us here on Action News 5. I'm Joe Birch. We heard from MLGW CEO Doug McGowan today. He says the utility has a plan in place to make these widespread outages a thing of the past. Action News 5's Joyce Peterson joins us now live with a breakdown of that plan. Joyce? Joe, the head of MLGW says the infrastructure is reliable if winds are less than 40 miles per hour. Well, yesterday there were two storms packing winds in excess of 60 miles per hour. The lights went out and for some it was a double whammy after experiencing last week's mass outages. We do have teams working all across the county at this point. MLGW President and CEO Doug McGowan Monday promised a better, stronger electrical grid for Memphis and its suburbs is coming. I do not want people to give up hope that we are going to make our system much more reliable and resilient in the future. The utility repaired service to more than 122,000 homes and businesses impacted by the June 25th storm. And with only 500 customers to go... Mother Nature delivered another devastating punch. McGowan says two more severe thunderstorms on Sunday knocked out power to 51,000 more customers. Homeowner Kevin Snyder patiently waiting for restoration. They're working 16 hour days. They're doing all they can do. Manzor Ali's country corner store in Shelby Forest without power for a week. $20,000 in food spoiled. We've lost a lot of business. And, you know, we couldn't be here for the community when they need us the most. McGowan says the utility is investing $1.2 billion in modernization. $220 million pays for a five-year tree trimming plan. $300 million will be used to replace old infrastructure. Poles that are old and weak, wires that are old and haven't been replaced, transformers that are out of date, and new construction standards. Another $200 million will be used to install a smart grid automating the distribution system. In Germantown, Sunday's wicked weather left behind damage and frustration. No electricity, no internet, Having uh, spending several thousand dollars to have a tree cut down. McGowan urges all MLGW customers to have patience. As soon as we are out of storm restoration mode, which we have been in for most of the last six months, we will begin in earnest making those improvements and you will see some dramatic improvements in reliability. And no 4th of July holiday off for these utility teams. Most of the linesmen, according to McGowan, haven't had a weekend off in the last month because of the storm activity and the damage left behind. They will work through the night tonight. They will work tomorrow on the holiday. MLGW not giving a full restoration ETA, only saying that crews will work until power is restored to all customers. Reporting live outside MLGW headquarters in downtown Memphis, Joyce Peterson, Action News 5.